Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill. I'm going to be out of town for two days. And I wanted to test my new equipment out, the new tripod extender. So yeah, as you can see, what's behind me is my entire collection up in the background. I would show some of it off, but... I need more lighting on my shelves. First and foremost, I'm going to be back Sunday, but my mom had to work today, so I couldn't go today. So I got, I'll be there tomorrow, then be back Sunday, and I'll be shooting my review of Transformers Cybertron Metroplex, baby, with this new tripod. It is awesome, amazing, it is better than any equipment I've ever used. And I so wanted to test this out real badly. And this is Eddie Hill. What to expect for future videos? A um, couple weeks, we won't be buying anything new. Um, Christmas, um... I will be spending with the family, of course, uh, same every year. Maybe I'll shoot a review, maybe after celebrating. I got plans to review one of my Iron Man figures, which I don't have a lot of. I just have, like, three Iron Mans, and this is, like, some brand I can't remember the name of, and it was, like, kind of like Funko Pop, but not Funko Pop. Um, I got my original White Ranger figure I'll be reviewing. I haven't gotten around to review him. He's missing a few components. For sure. I have a lot of figures I am missing, so I'm going to state this in the video. I am definitely missing a lot of G.I. Joe. I have Snake Eyes. Um, Lady J. Roadblock, Tank Guy, Tunnel Rat, I think. Got a lot of Cobra Soldiers. I got a Cobra Bat, an Arctic Cobra Bat. I got a G.I. Joe Retaliation Cobra Soldier. Got Destro, that Cobra Archer guy I know nothing about. <laughs> and another G.I. Joe Retaliation. The uh, G.I. Joe... Venom versus Valor figure, one one of those. Um, definitely missing a lot of the anime characters for sure. I got Ultra Magnus. I got Blitzwing, Soundwave, little little Starscream animated Starscream. I kill for the bigger one and a lot of others. Marvel, I'd love to have in Hawkeye, maybe Captain America, uh, maybe Black Widow, maybe Black Panther in like a small figure scale. And I have quite a few Stormtroopers. I have reviewed my random Stormtroopers and a whole lot of other stuff. I'm proud of my Star Wars collection most of all. Combiner Wars, I'm I'm missing Superion, Computron. Computron is just too pricey. I'm not willing to pay like two hundred dollars or three hundred or more for it. But I can buy a KO edition for like less than that. For like um around thirty or forty bucks eBay. Um, definitely got my random figures on that shelf over there. Probably not going to show that off. Power Rangers, I got an impressive collection so far, but I don't have a lot of it. You know, I mean, if you fans wish to send me stuff, make sure to, um, you can send it through my, through the postal system. It's... 
and I'm all, totally missing a lot of the generations, Transformers, G1, and a whole lot of others. Um, but I got some random stuff, a lot of randoms. And I'm just saying that because, hey, I'm a toy reviewer. Siege, I got a big collection of Siege. I'm missing Red Alert. I'd love to have Red Alert in the Siege Select Smoke Screen. Um, definitely want the uh, third anniversary Blue Streak and the Siege Ratchet, but I have most of the guys. Um, I can't wait for Transformers Earthrise. I'm really excited about that Optimus Prime we're getting with them. We're getting it with the trailer, and it has a med bay. Missing roller. But that's a shame. Yeah. Only disappointment I'll have in that. But otherwise, he looks very awesome and very incredible. Hoist and Grapple. Looking forward to them, too. Wheeljack. Cliff Jumper. Uh, the Micromaster platform thing is not my cup of tea. Uh, I, I do have them some, some Siege Battlemasters. Um, some of those. And some of the Titans Return Headmaster Battlemaster things. I know nothing about. Um, definitely would kill. I def... Oh, sorry. I... I mean, I'd love to have a Cobra Commander for my G.I. Joe shelf. I totally love that. Um, I totally would. Because what's Cobra without Cobra Commander to me? Got a lot of Hero Factory on that shelf. Uh, Legends of Chima, Yukio figures. Um couple DCs in there. I really want to get more DC. Then maybe I'll move some of the DC off random. Um, what else? Um, I'd love to have more Yukio action figures. Like, I totally would be stoked if anyone could find me this one figure. I'd kill for the Exodia from Yukio. I'd totally kill for that Exodia that came out way back when. And maybe a set of Kaiba to go with my Yugi, because, hey, he's Yugi, he's Ami Yugi, without the rival. <laughs> and I'm totally missing a whole lot of Episode 3 figures, Clone Wars figures, and stuff like that. And I have my largest Darth Vader right behind me, I'm... You can't see him, but he's like, uh, really, like, taller than this, but pretty tall. He's like taller than that. But hey, please show your love for the channel, keep liking, keep subscribing, people, and I'll keep posting videos, and if you guys wish to send me stuff, it's very easy. Just, uh, I don't have a P.O. box yet. Hoping to boost viewers and maybe subscribers too. Um, that's all I can want, and then some of my channel to hope to go beyond. Oh, and that ship information is White Oak, Pennsylvania, PA. One five one three one Vermont Avenue. If you wish to send me anything, because hey, you guys are awesome for liking my channel. It could be stuff you have no desire to keep anymore, and you want to just get rid of it and make room or like donate it to my channel. That way I can keep posting more videos for you guys. Like, I have more stuff to review. Trust me. I go to conventions, and I, I don't get a lot of stuff. I only have, like, a $100 spending budget. <laughs> That's me for you. So, like I said, um, 
show your love for the channel, keep liking, keep subscribing. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, people!